Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. 4-16-2024 on a Tuesday. Tuesday. And it's um afternoon over here on my side of town. So uh, I got up pretty... I got up early. I mean, I got up at my usual time. But a lot of things are going on with me. I just want to make them, you know, share that. That's why I'm coming on. I'm testing out new um, ways to uh, disseminate you know, my podcast, my videos, blah, 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 as I'm building my foundation. And as you know, anytime you're building a foundation, there's going to be different measurements of things. You're going to have to adjust on this side of the foundation, on that side of the foundation, just to make sure it's a solid foundation. So I'm going to be testing out several um, uh, areas to present things in a cohesive fashion, where it's easy to get a hold of me if you need to, um, or easy to get a hold of information if you need to, uh, and, and sort of um, bring things together in a more simplified form. So uh, the podcast is going to change somewhat, and that's where I want to do a lot more focus anyway, because podcasting is going to be, uh, at some point, all that people have. Okay, listen to me carefully. Some people are not going to be able to get on the internet. They're not going to have internet service. But for some reason, it's easy, it, it's easy to have certain signals to get podcasts. You know, radio signals, I guess is what they call them. But a lot of people are not going to be able to get on their internet. They're not going to be able to... Um... Oh, okay, I thought I heard some noise. Oh, they're not going to be able to access the internet. Okay, but we will still be able to use our cell phones. So that means that some people are going to run into those kind of problems due to their infrastructure or something weather related. So I just want to be, uh, like I say, I want to be there for, for anyone that needs me, you know, via how I can help people. And, you know, and just kind of share my thoughts my, you know, tell my stories, control my narrative. And that's another thing to do everything in your power to control your narrative, meaning, you know, get your name on things, um, you know, you know, learn how to edit or, or find, you know, make sure you find someone that has some genuine long-term experiences in the things that you want to do, whether it's podcasting, web design, uh, business development, blah 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 and that's what I that's what I do I know I know sometimes a lot of people we like to work with our friends and our family and sometimes that has the limitations you know that's that's what it has because I remember a couple uh less than a year ago or maybe a year ago I know I know a relative you know he does great with a certain uh service I needed but every time I would attempt to reach out to them they kept promising me yeah I'm gonna help I'm gonna help and that's been you know, so it is true. Something is something about the, the how people treat you when you're related to them. You know, uh, we kind of treat each other a little differently, as if we're not. You know that we. It, it's, maybe it's, sometimes it's hard to separate being a, a family member and a business partnership. That's why you really need to know the company you keep. Now I'm doing what I'm doing um, for a reason. Um, and so, but things are going to change. In other words, I'm going to bring different people onto my team. How about that? <laughs> and so, um, but in the meantime, in between time, I'm still working on my foundation because a lot of people have this, um, and, it, and, and, and like I said, you have to change your, think, your mode of thinking. A lot of people think, a lot of people believe, there's a belief that if someone has an idea and a vision that, it, it they can contemplate it and cultivate it into that vision well you can but you have to a lot of people want to see see what you can do you know a lot of people uh have have um um lost a lot of money and wasted a lot of time with people that had great ideas that sound good on paper but then once you started to actually put it out okay it failed and so failure is a learning opportunity but nobody likes to fail you know when people fail 
okay, they want to close up shop and, you know, and go put their, you know, their tails between their leg and, and go hide because they're embarrassed, you know. So sometimes it's uh, not in your best interest to work with so-called friends and family. Is that is that being, you know, offensive? No, it isn't. To me, it's a strategic plan. You know, it's not business as usual anymore. You know, sometimes you have the most problems with people that are so-called your friends and so-called your family when you're attempting to uh, build a foundation and build a business. But, I, you know, like in my case, um, I told whoever is, was involved with me in the beginning of all of this, everything's temporary, you know. And so that means that sometime, you know, one of us are going to move on. And then luckily, uh, during certain things with my podcast, we decided to move on on our own you know it kind of came together where we needed to move on it was time to go so you need to know when it's time to let people go when you're building a foundation especially if it's because i'm telling you everything is off the personal for me when i'm building a business or building a non-profit or building a foundation or, or starting a small uh small business you know or a franchise whatever whatever you are into you have to have the right type of people on your team, all right? So sometimes, I mean, I and I know this particular team of people, I can already see the writing on the wall, what's going to happen with that. And um, it saddens me because I, ha I was so enthusiastic about this team, and I thought they really were headed in the right direction. But unfortunately, you know, uh that team became degenerate and deviant and nefarious. And I was just shocked that, you no, know, I mean, I mean, look, we all are given the benefit of the doubt, right? Okay. So the best way to give someone the benefit of the doubt is kind of observe them and monitor them first before you kind of go after them. I mean, I know a lot of people um, believe they, understand people and law enforcement is perfect example of that law enforcement for the most part based on their results have no idea about people and and but yet they want to claim that they are protecting and serving people human beings so so a lot of things are going to be exposed and we're going to realize that we were not walking the talk we were just talking 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 and not paying attention to results you know, we have all of these, uh, all of these so-called businesses out there, you know, that are supposed to serve the homeless, serve women, serve men, serve children, serve this or that and the other. And it's turning out that nobody's, uh, everybody's throwing money though. They'll throw money at that. Oh gosh, you, you working with the homeless? Really? Here. And you know, just to ease some guilt that a lot of people are feeling about that and try to ease the uh, pains on their conscience. Not their consciousness, even though that's part of it, but they're conscious. They're guilt. They're feeling like they're feeling guilty. So they believe, let me just throw some dollars at these people, you know, and, you know, because, you know, they're looking down on them, you know. So, um, and no one has been holding a lot of these people accountable, which is being determined. So... So things are going to be changing with me. I'm going to do everything I can to be as uh, transp transparent, you know, be as uh, honest and walk the talk, you know, and um, it's going to be trials and errors, mistakes, sometimes luck, and then breakthroughs. It's going to, that, you know, things have to move, like I said, horizontally as more so than attempting to go to the top right away, in which a lot of people do. They want to you know, immediately jump to the top of the pyramid, you know, and then claim that they know what they're doing, claim they have, only they have the answers, only they know what they're doing, you know, that they're protected. You know, I heard some, I mean, I'm just hearing a lot of um, disturbing things from, you know, like I said, a certain team of people that I think they started out meaning well, but they're turning, they're, they're, they're going into uh, their demise, in my opinion. They're going to their demise. And it's all about the energy of their thoughts. 
Okay. It turns out this person was stealing from me, stealing my ideas, stealing ideas from other people, and it turned putting it in a chamber and then spitting it out as if they they've uh spoken those words before or had those quote unquote ideas before. I'm not concerned right now because um for me it's about universal love and it's about understanding uh that in the process the wheat the wheat will be separated from the chaff let that let that type of energy work itself out on its own because it will and i call that cause and effect reaping what you've sown so stay righteous i'm going to keep saying that stay righteous because i know sometimes you want to seek revenge and retaliation especially if it's hurting your pockets okay um I mean, because, you know, every, all of us have to feed ourselves, you know, and, and we ought to be standing on our own feet, you know, providing for ourselves and, and being able to stand on our own feet, on our own two feet, or on our own feet, regardless if we're in a relationship or married or not. Okay, that's, that's, that's the reality of our situation. It doesn't matter if you're married to someone or not. Can you provide for them? Can you for provide for yourself? It's no longer that way where, as my parents were, where my dad was exclusively the breadwinner. He he loved that, but that can but that doesn't work too much now, um, because uh, unless you're single, you know I'm not single, but you have no children. That can work for couples that have no children. I can guarantee if people look into that uh, honestly. Okay, but once you bring children into the into the mix, okay, it becomes more and more difficult to feed those mouths as well as yourself. So, again, I'm going to do some changing around how I deliver my information, deliver my my stories, how I control my narrative. And so certain things, are, and I want it to be simplified. I don't want you to have to go all over the place with looking for links and going here, going there. You know, I want it to be an easy flow to get the information you need. And especially if you need to get a, get a hold of me, how we can set things up, we can talk to each other one-on-one, -on -one, in a group. Eventually, I want to meet up with people face-to-face, -face, okay? You're not getting away from the, You're not getting away from me, okay? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get with you. <laughs> we gonna meet up trust um you know and just have fun with people i think people are realizing that um they can trust me okay that i am consistent and i'm trustworthy okay i'll admit when i made mistakes i don't have an issue with that and it's you're going to make mistakes so if people are going to continue to dismiss you because you're making mistakes, then who are these people and why are you allowing them to influence you? You know, are you following them? Are they following you? See what you can do to have them unfollow you. You know, put out a statement to people. Put out a disclaimer to people. Like, look, you know, if you cannot, if you cannot hold me to some respect and allow me to make mistakes, you know, and, 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 you know, and attempt to build myself up from that and without, and you're not supporting me in that, then you need to move on. People need to move on instead of running around, following people around, because a lot of times what they're doing is following you around so they can steal stuff, steal your content. But again, it, artificial intelligence is neutral and artificial intelligence is going to be able to uncover that for you. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you know that? If you think clearly and effectively, just think about it. Just 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 be re be relaxed one day and sit back and think about it. And say, you know what? Because they're using the internet to do it. So they're churning out stuff from the internet. Nobody's uh, and everybody thinks it's true. Well, when they're churning, when something's neutral and it's churning out something, it's going to churn out stuff that you may not have thought about and most people are not thinking they see these these things as toys i'm gonna to keep saying that they see all of this technology quantum computing especially as toys and eventually as what 
weapons. Oppenheimer. Okay, the, 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 the atom. What did it turn into? What could it have been? Think about that. What's the positive effects of what it could have been? What's the positive effects of nuclear nuclear power? And maybe maybe nuclear power's uh, benefits have come to an end. Maybe they have been. Maybe we sh maybe that was uh, the whole point of Oppenheimer. But maybe uh, who knows? I don't know the man. But supposedly he was he was uh, just like Tesla. You know, Tesla had something that could have. Uh, he was he was working on some stuff, but a lot of his stuff was stolen. You know. Uh, I mean, all of them, most of them, all of their technology was stolen and turned into weapons, turned into toys, destructive toys, okay? So I'm going to keep bringing this type of message to people because I know I have support out there, and I appreciate that. I'm going to um, just do the best I can based on what I know, what I'm learning, okay? I'm constantly learning and developing, I am not the ones running around thinking I know everything, thinking I'm better than I am. I mean, there are some people, like I said, I can see their demise. I can see their demise. And I attempted to put the information out in, so, in a way of warning, warning, warning. But most people don't listen to warnings. They, they wait until the devastation is here, and then they attempt to, to um, you know, save themselves. Well, in, a lot, in millions and millions of cases to come, that's not going to be no longer possible. So, so just uh, so if you see a, if you if you are looking for some of my podcasts, they're gonna my podcast is going to be changing over to a new a new sort of outlet to make it more simplified and easier for me to you know to be able to uh, not have to go through so many channels, you know, just to get it posted. I'm just going to look at other avenues. You know, and sometimes, you know, you have to keep in mind, nothing can be, nothing's free. So anytime you're working with something free, eventually what, you know, it's, it's, it's going to, it's going to, um, it's going to restrict you because nothing's free. And we ought to know that by now. There's so many things we ought to know by now. And a lot of people is just, uh, even gatekeepers fall asleep. You know, even gatekeepers fall asleep. So, um, so I just want to go ahead and share that, let you know what's going on with me. <laughs> um, and everything, and I'm doing fantastic, magnificently and marvelous. And I hope you are as well, despite whatever's going on with you, you know, get yourself stay, you know, if you want to stay uncomfortable, stay uncomfortable, but reach out and experience other facets of this life. That you are, because you are who you are right now for a reason. And a lot of people are starting to discover that. So I'll talk a little bit more about that, how how people are causing their own demise. And it's about how they're thinking. And it's, they're usually very arrogant, cocky, know-it-all. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a stranger. Okay. It could be people that you've been in relationships with. A lot of people have been in these kind of relationships with people where they almost where it's a contract, where it's an agreement, whether it's a marriage or a partnership. You know, some people are uh, are married to that, and so you're going to need help getting out of that because in the end, they when someone has that type of personality, they always turn on the ones they love. You know, as a matter of fact, I know this one particular person, and. Um, when I, you know, moved over here to the West Coast, you know, um, there were some things going on that I didn't know. That's fine. I mean, I don't, you know. But there was someone that I had an association with that I kind of knew about. Um, and when I first saw this person, I was uh, almost, I was almost in shock, in a state of shock, because uh, for what they looked like, that's why you need to meet people in person at some point please because what they look like on on the computer when I saw this person in person uh, I was shocked shocked but you know um, that that is that sometimes that kind of stuff happens but anyway you know this person managed to get themselves back 
you know, back get back together and start taking better care of themselves, you know. And also keep in mind, you know, um, we don't want to get too extreme about stuff, whether we're lifting weights, taking supplements, uh, running, exercising, all of that, and, you know, you know, changing your habit of food, which, you know, all of that is is can be very positive but it can also be extremely negative where you can cause yourself to lose your life okay whether you get yourself injured whether you're taking in supplements that may not agree with your immune system whether you're exercising by yourself and you hurt yourself in your house and nobody knows you were exercising and working out like you are you know and the food you eat that's what's going to change a lot for people. That's why you're going to have to open your mind about how we are uh, receiving food. Um, some people's immune system has been so compromised through, through our environment, through our climate, where certain foods were were no problem to them, say, 5, 10, five, 10 20 years ago. But now that food, if they eat that food now, is life-threatening. You notice a lot of people getting these uh, uh, allergic reactions to food, to drinks, supplements, environment. Some people are having trouble in certain environments, certain temperatures. I told you on a video, this this man and his family were living um, in the Midwest. You know where where it gets those the temperatures. You know can go below zero. You know north. The, you know, in, in the north center somewhere, you know, without. But anyway, he brought his family to a warmer environment because he said his body could not take even average cold temperatures. His body would ache. So certain regions are going to be painful for people to live in, especially the ones that are living in these the extreme, extreme environments. Some people are not going to be able to take the sun. Their skin is not going to allow it. You know, some people are not going to be able to take the cold. Their, you know, their, their bones are not going to allow it. You know, and so it's just going to be that way. Certain people can't, um, you know, watch certain programming anymore on television because it, it has a visual effect to them. Visual. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Being silly. But, you know, it, it has an effect on them that they can't tolerate it. Certain people are going to have issues with their sound, how they're feeling. So things are changing. No longer. We're not living in 1800s anymore, 1700s, 1900s. Even though we, we, we um, comparatively, pretend, I mean, not pretend, but we are, are acting as though we're still in the 1900s. We're still bestowing uh, scientists and, and such from the 1800s, 1900s, instead of you know, considering the scientists and the philosophers and the psychiatry and the scientists now, instead of, instead of going to them now and having them present their theories and opinions to us, because it's not knowledge, let them present their theories and opinions to us and see if it's relevant so that we can see how we can improve our circumstances, okay, because there's always survivors, so anyway, just want to give an update on this uh, Tuesday about things changing around. So if you follow me a certain, in certain places on the podcast, the link is no longer there. I'm, I'm recreating something else, testing this, testing that. But, you know, trust me, I'm here. And trust me, I'm not going anywhere. So I want to say peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust me. I'll be back. <laughs>